Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature regarding the loop component in Microsoft Teams and in Outlook. So we're now in a chat one-on-one -on -one with Alex and I see this icon. If I click this, I can choose one of the components here and I can make just like a checklist. And actually the idea is that uh, uh, it can be updated as much as I want. So I could call this tasks and I will say a task is uh, buy some cake. And here I will have task two. So you see this actually, if I send it, uh, I'm now in the chat with Alex. So if we go now to Alex's uh, Teams, so uh, Alex sent me something. Oh, Ami sent me something. And uh, here we can continue the, the list that we have. It's loading slowly. Let's give it a second. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, here I can add another task, task three. And I can send it and let's see, it's updated here, task three is three. So until now it was possible to do it in a one-on-one. -on -one. Now I want to show you how we can do it in the Outlook. So I as uh, Ami will go to the, by the way, um, the file is stored uh, on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, in OneDrive under Microsoft Teams chat files. And this is the file. And here, you, if I click on it, uh, I can edit it and whoever's uh, in the chat, he can uh, do whatever he wants. And I could do task four. And you see that uh, actually, I see that someone else is uh, working on a file. So I wanted to show you actually uh, a new feature. I'm now uh, in Outlook and in Outlook, I see this icon as well. So. Uh, let's say I want to send it to Alex. Yeah, I'm Ami currently, and let's call it uh, tasks. And I could add this. And actually, uh, you see, you have all of the loop components. Actually, uh, we have a new one which is called Q and A. So let's see how it looks. By default, you see it adds me as CC. So I guess so. I remember what. Uh, what was done, it added an automatic name. So let's, uh, uh, the question would be, where do you live? And I would say uh, Israel. And I could add another question, color, and color would be blue. Uh, and actually I can add as much as I want components and what I can do is send it out. So let's see what happens uh, when uh, it's sent. So I will go uh, to Alex, Alex's mail. And Alex uh, received this and he can automatically from the Outlook uh, update, you see uh, he can answer and say uh, UK and he can answer and say uh, green. And everything is uh, on the way. So all he needs to do is currently just to uh, change it, update it here. Now let's let's and let's uh, reply back to him and send it out. Um, now let's. I wonder where where is it stored. So I'll click on this, and if you remember the fluid files for. Uh, Teams one on one on one was in the chat. Uh, now, if we go here, uh, if we go and see where it is, it's under OneDrive, but within attachments. So currently, I don't know why it doesn't let me enter, but you you saw that it's in a uh, attachment uh, document attachment folder within the OneDrive. So let's go here. And, but it's the attachment within that army uh, user. So you see uh, both of these are here. Now, I think it's not possible to uh, mix between these two loop 
components. One is in the Outlook and one is in a one-on-one. -on -one. What we can actually do is uh, I can copy here. Let's go back. So let's see, let's do the opposite. I want to send again uh, a component to, to Alex. And let's uh, add uh, just a table. That's the, call the table uh, lists. And I will have some values here. And what I can do here is to copy this, copy this link before I send it. And uh, and then, uh, do you want to send a message without the subject? No, let's add the subject. It will be list for me. And because I have this, uh, because I have this link, actually I can post it in, in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, chat. So let's go here and I will send, paste the, the link. And this, remember that this is the table that I had in the Outlook. So uh, you notice if I click here, I can decide who will work, uh, who will have access, who can uh, only read. If it's uh, people in an organization, if it's specific people, if I want to read only or not. So actually I can, uh, add it here. I don't know if it's possible the other way around. If I copy this and let's try that. So I'll copy uh, this uh, loop component that was in the one on one and I want to uh, send it through, through the Outlook. So I'll go here and I will say Alex here we are and I will paste this uh, link. Ah, it works. So uh, it's cool. So now I'm sending it and actually uh, Alex will receive it. And you see this is here and we both can uh, continue working uh, task four, five. And uh, so try it out and uh, let me know what you think. Goodbye.